is it like in that room right now? What is your evaluation? And what's maybe the last time we talked to you was a challenge to be violent? I mean, is it? Yeah, well, we have just in general here our room and at Ohio State is a very high standard. So you're always chasing that. You're always pushing to that. So are we there yet? No. Are we working there? Yeah, you can watch from week one to four. There's some improvement. There's some, you know, there's some guys in the first group that have pulled away and doing some things from the second group. But at the end of the day, you want the production, you want all those things. So no, no one's happy. No one's like, wow, we're going to get it next. Like there's a legitimate fight right now in the room. And with the, from the staff and the kids all together. You know, and that's just what we talk about. I talk with those guys all the time. Like, we're doing this together. We're working on this together. And so when we see what we need to cure, then we got to take something to cure that ailment. Uh, through practice, is it is it the coaching where I got to cut it down and be more back to basics or remedial? Yeah, I've done a little bit of that this week for the guys. Is it for the guys to say, all right, what am I looking at? If it's six things, because I think I'm ready for six, I might not be ready for six. Let me just focus on these one or two. So everybody, coach, players, unit involved, I felt like has come out of this week and then talked to Ryan, like that's kind of been the mindset there. Like, just go because we talk about, you know, we talk the competitive stamina and the growth. You know, the bad stuff's not because we're unable physically right now. Does that make sense? There's some things going on that we need to correct that we're capable and able of doing, we're just not doing right. So do I have to simplify a scheme? Yeah, probably. Do they have to latch on and rebite to a scheme because they maybe have gone too far too fast? Probably some of that in the somewhere in the middle is reality that way. So when you talk about all of that stuff, I mean that's that's probably just scratching the surface of what's in your brain. I mean is it hard to chart a course out of it? Are you confused about the right way to do it? I don't No, I think that no, you could let yourself get confused, but like I mean you guys have been around me now for over a year how I talk like sometimes it's boring, like we're just like getting back to the basics, to the fundamentals, to the, maybe even the scheme, like, God, we really love to block them all, but you know what? Maybe we get to these six and give the back seven. Maybe we give the tight end or someone seven. So from a coaching standpoint, I've got to put them, and we have to put them in the right schemes to where they can play faster and looser in some things. And then other things, when they don't make the play, they see it and they're like, damn it, coach, like, I got this, I'm gonna get better at this. And, and then we work it and then just being cohesive as a run unit of it's our five and then maybe one tight end or two tight ends. Or it's our five, a tight end, and then maybe a back has something. Here. So that's when you involve more people in the run games, you know. But from our standpoint in our room, yes, it's it's a little bit of everything. The personnel and the kids, what are they doing? They're diving back into themselves. There's no sheltering or kicking back. They understand that. From a coaching standpoint, I'm looking at how hard I'm coaching it, what I'm coaching, the details I'm giving them to them, making sure I'm not spreading too thin, and then we've got to put them in the right schemes to go execute better. So it's it's a good little mixture there. Of, that's the answer. It's not something random. Now, how do we all we might refocus and get into it? Justin, I think after week one or week two, right, everything that you guys were doing was correctable. Uh, it sounds like you're, you're having to tweak some things now. Are there, is, was there a point where things became maybe not correct rule to a point where you have to tweak what you guys are doing for the personnel? I think, yeah, like if you get into, like, if you cut yourself open and you say, who are we, what do we do, what do we do, what do we do? You get rolling and going on that, then how thin do you get spread? Or maybe you get away from those core fundamentals or that core concept, I should say, not the fundamentals, but then whatever that scheme may be. So that's that can sometimes be an answer, whether it's here or anywhere else. Or you see some other things like, man, we could attack this team here really well. Well, we've got this. Let's maybe try to dabble in here. Well, how much time to task does that go? That's what we just have to keep reworking to make sure we're giving them the right amount of stuff and not too much stuff to where they can't go execute the right amount of stuff. Is there an offensive line that you can coach that you can fall back on maybe through four or five games didn't look like it was completely coming together and then it just kind of snapped into place? Or, or do you have? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, all, it's, it's all stuff we kind of talked about. I remember, like, just going back to, you know, I don't deal with the place or whatever, but I had a deal where you start getting going, you had some veteran guys, and you're moving and shaking and doing some things, and all of a sudden you do get away from what made those guys really good. Or you jump the version C, D, and E, and you skip A and B, even though they're veteran guys in those things. Well, you can use that in a deal with a more inexperienced type of group. We're saying, hey, we're trying to hunt and peck in here. Let's get honed back in on this. So not being too... Just don't, don't throw too much information at them. 
but give them enough to where they can go play with a little more confidence. And like I said, the, the kids feel that out. We ask the kids, we're asking the kids, where, where do you want, what do you like, what do we got to get back to? Coach, can I get this one more time? So it's just a good working thing that we got to keep working on that way. Justin, is it, is it possible that running the stretch play, the full zone play, just maybe doesn't suit the skill sets of this particular group? And, and if so, well, that, that goes back to what we said. Like, there's a lot of pieces that go into that. Yeah. If it's just five man open stretch, then there's a component to that. Then you add a tight end or a fullback or someone that's a cutoff guy. So as you add more pieces to it, then you have to make more blocks that way, more reads and those things. So that goes back to what we're talking about. Are you just going to cut it away? No, because we've got a lot of reps, a lot of time, and we've run it really well, too. So then why maybe is this one not working or here? Is it? Is it personnel, meaning 12, 13, bigger people versus 11, finding ways to do it in 12 or something that way? That's just what we got to keep digging on, you know? But from a standpoint of, like, to say wholesale, like, wow, that's just not there. There's too many bank reps and bank work where how do we find, once again, that right merge of five plus six, who becomes seven, who becomes six, how does the back read it? We're putting our guys in the right scheme that way. There was a lot of talk, like, during that Maryland game, Joel Clatt was the entire time was like, not enough getting up to the second level. Like linebackers are uncovered, we got to turn around the whole package. How imperative is that to what you want to do to make sure we're getting there? And then what's, I guess, the disconnect? Uh, both. You got to get displacement up front. You got to get a little more movement. You know, those guys, they played a good, that big, uh, you know, 3 4 Oki front a little bit. Yeah. And so getting movement on that first level and then how many guys work down, you know, and then you look at that. I mean, a lot of our, our play action stuff hit too because there was a lot of guys down. So that's the give and take. But yes, we got to be more explosive in those. We can't, you know, I think we had by we had uh, two zero or negative yardage runs, but we had too many threes and twos. Three, yeah, yeah we had yeah. too many threes and twos. So, yes, getting the ball to that second level, working that. And once again, you got to look in and say, is, is that the scheme? Is that the personnel we're asking to do that scheme? Is it a different scheme that we can open up to put guys in different sets? And you, you game plan and look for that every week, you know. And so we just got to. You know, not just move on and run the next play. we got to obviously dive into it, look into it. And that's why you guys are asking me about it, too. So we're all diving into it and working on it. And, and uh, that's why we got to make sure we have a good plan for the kids. Justin, with Donnie, last, last two with, questions. With, with Donnie and Matt, they were on the offensive line. It was really solid last year. And this year, your line has gone through some struggles for them specifically. Uh, they're the leaders of the group. Have you sensed any frustration from them? And, well, yeah, right. Everybody wants to play better. But, like, you know, dissension or separation, no. It's, it's probably been more with... with Matt's been as vocal as he's been in a long time this week. And Donovan, as we talked before the season, is learning to grow into that position now where, like, he looked to his left and to his right, and he's like, well, I got to be the voice. I got to be the voice of the locker room. I got to be the voice that echoes what coach is saying. I got to reestablish communication to the young guys or maybe talk to Josh Simmons a little more because it might be a new turn or something for him. So, uh, oh, yeah, in the, in the heat of the moment where we're at, no, there's, there's been no disconnect or no dissension. Yeah, everybody's frustrated because, like I said, the bar here is high, rightfully so. And so when you're not to that, you've got to keep climbing and get to that. And so that's what they're doing as kids, we're doing as coaches. And as I said, that's what my unit and my guys and us, that's what we're doing as well. And that's what the offense is doing. Ryan, Ryan yesterday was uh, expressing confidence and kind of the personnel feeling you have the right five in, in place. Um, just want to kind of get your thoughts on that and because you had some yeah, we challenged, competitions. Yeah, and yeah we challenged that. the guys there that are – if a guy's right there in the twos, you know, and if that goes with anything. If there's a little struggles or there's something going on, so the answer can't be, well, I, I could do that. Well, if that's what we don't need, don't do that. Be better than that, you know. So, yeah, we've got – there's still some competition. There's some guys that are there, and there's some guys too that there's been some separation there. So, yeah, we feel like we're playing with the right guys. Can we get another guy or two there into the mix? <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, there's guys battling for that. But we're constantly looking at that. I mean, we're, we, the beautiful thing about us up front is, and, and is we get a great every play. I mean, you get an inside drill, it's nine on seven, you're grading those plays. You get a pass rush, you get a great. We have a lot of gradable, coachable reps. And so the guys can see the good and the bad, and guys can see who's pushing each other and, and who's separated from each other too. So. All right, Coach, thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Justin. We'll bring in Caden Curry.